thank you for joining us after a break you are welcome to our conclusion of bitterness welcome so let someone know we are here today is the conclusion like I said this is a kind of training that we are going to have and after what's been happening in the country the elections and the results are in we have the president elect common advice uh, from me to the nation we simply let's support one another let us learn to support one another if one fails we all fail so let us learn to hold each other's hands so invite someone today it's a conclusion and then we begin another another discussion this is a series of discussions so feel free to invite someone within few minutes Thank you for your word. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this evening. We thank you for the graces that has given to us. So let us pray together. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, our gracious and Father, we thank you for this evening, for the peace and love that you have showered upon us, for being in us, for being 
not only with us but dwelling inside of us giving us the courage the boldness to call you abba father as your children learning to you for your embrace we thank you that you are always planning accomplishing all good things for us as it is written in your word all perfect and good gifts come from above so we thank you for every perfect gift you've given to us and as we discuss you know this let the holy spirit guide us and penetrate in our hearts and put the fruits of the holy spirit gentleness kindness love all that comes with the holy spirit at our disposal within us that we may become instruments of peace channel of love to others that the forgiveness through us in us may be an expression of God's kingdom among ourselves pray this through Christ our lord amen to god be the glory and honor so despite despite the the blink you've been looking at the demon of bitterness and we had looked at the uh, three points we had looked at spirit of unforgiveness then we had looked at resentment then we also looked at vengeance okay so this evening we want to look at the spirit of anger and rage so in our preamble we said the first three spirits which is you no know, and forgiveness resentment and vengeance may remain in the person hidden okay it may, may not show that these things are inside but with anger it outbursts now that shows the three lady are inside the heart it becomes visible through rage through anger so anger gives a voice to evil okay with a life of anger demon manifests physically okay so the first three that we had looked at which is unforgiveness resentment and vengeance remain hidden in the person and to at a certain point with a life of rage and anger now it give voice okay that's why sometimes you see people when they are upset you can see in their eyes rage and anger okay and this is why we are saying these are caused by a bitter root of because of what because of spirit of unforgiveness resentment and vengeance it's been boring inside the heart so when it comes out it comes in form of anger and rage okay so that, that's the, the basic understanding okay that's the basic understanding okay because things are inside no way they're going to come out as an expression is through rage okay so i'll read in some of the scriptures um, that also demonstrate this okay so when you resent someone when resentment is, is no you fester resentment anger is ready to part, to burst out anger and love that not not manifest unless the first three demons are in place so for this one to come to surface the ground must be fatal and the fatality of the ground you're looking at unforgiveness resentment and vengeance that's when anger comes in okay that's when the anger comes in anger erupts when a pledge was violated producing pain a few victimized so what do i do i counter strike okay a counter strike so the, the next point now uh, we we'll look at the hatred okay we shall look at this a bit more detailed again okay to god be the glory okay now this is what we are saying now once anger and love are installed 
okay eighth rate appears at the request of bitterness to begin the process of elimination okay that's why people say i know this one will meet in the grave that's the elimination method but the bible clearly gives us the opposite according to first rate of john chapter 2 verse 11 whoever hates another be believer is in the darkness walks in the darkness and does not know the way to go because the darkness has brought on blindness okay so that's why you are saying the, the, the spirit of elimination actually will say i live on this planet and do so you one of us has to go one of us has to go and it's not going to be me that's how hatred you know responds to situations so hatred try to eliminate the other person okay hatred reveals my feelings to the offender telling him he has no right to exist in my world that's why i, I, I said you know, people say you will meet in the grave he said you have nothing in common you have nothing to do with that person i deeply hate him i'll do whatever i have to do to avenge myself to get back at the other person okay that's why we are talking about victimization okay hatred adds gasoline for last victimization by Satan so when you sense all this you're supposed to lead the person you're praying for you must become aware of anger vengeance resentment and forgiveness okay they are operating in the person okay because all these give comfort and protection to each other okay and you must know that the stronghold of this is bitterness which dilates everything okay that is the strength of the armor of bitterness so which has other smaller demons subject to it okay it has other small subjects to it as a demon okay that's what i say these demons work together they protect each other to stop you from repenting and forgiving which would defeat them so they are kind of like i said before the hierarchy they are in position so the bitterness and forgiveness resentment anger they support each other these demons they support each other so that you uh, someone will not forgive okay you have given the example of what jesus said when a strong man guards his house the house is indeed what safe but a stronger man when the stronger man comes he disbanded the man the strong man tied him and plunder the spoil and we said the strong man is the devil but the stronger man is jesus thanks be to god who has given us the stronger man to bind you now the strong man okay so when somebody is ready to forgive the demon of unforgiveness will rise in our memories will raise its voice images you know pictures move, move uh, kind of movies that remind you of how the other person hates you okay the demon of resentment will add sensation of pain by telling you see how you feel inside you the idea is doesn't want you to release the other person the forgiving of the other person because the forgiving of the other person is harming okay it disarms that so it becomes less effective okay so you I, I try to forgive but resentment will say no okay vengeance uh, intervenes okay you need to get back at that person you must pay back what he did to you okay anger raises up and say yes i'm going to see to it that he gets What's coming to him 
That's the demon rising in us. The hatred says not only will I say to this business, not only I avenge myself, but how I know to get back at you, and to get back at her, where it hates badly. So that's why without forgiveness, you perpetuate your cycle of killing and murder. Okay? We perpetuate that kind of thing. That once we forgive, all these demons are disarmed. Okay? That's why we say that these dialogues with demons take place every day in families, at work, at church, in the community, and in prayer groups, brotherhood. What is sad is that the people involved do not even suspect they are being manipulated by demons. They are under the impression that they are take, talking to themselves. So the enemy attacks everyone in the church, in the community, in our families, is everywhere. So we have to take keen interest in discerning the spirit. Why am I having this rage, this anger, bitterness? Why am I not? able or willing to forgive the other person, you check, okay, you check all of this, and then you realize there are demons manipulating, there are demons at play. So if you are joining us for the first time, I have done several videos uh, on this, just go a bit back, check the videos and connect, okay, because this is a detailed part when you are talking about the armor of bitterness. Okay? The armor of bitterness. And then the spirit of violence. And I said before, the violence is anger and hatred in action. That's the spirit of violence. Anger and hatred in action. And this we must be aware. Sometimes people do not do things on their own. They are being manipulated. Our emotional erupting into full physical attacks and speech life with abusive words. We start throwing pots, cans, armors, punches, fighting blacks because of this you know, anger, hatred in us. And this is the point where, as we play for even for the nation of Zambia, we must be all aware of this. Why are some people so? You no, know, full of rage, full of anger, full of hatred towards the other person. Where is this coming from? You have to descend. You have to descend. Okay? Why are people fighting? Why am I fighting? Okay? Why am I so abusive in my speech? Okay? And this is what you are saying. The devil introduced violence into the world through Cain. Okay? When he killed his brother Abel, that's the introduction of violence. So we must be able in a position to discern our pattern of thoughts, our unforgiveness. Why not? Why am I not able to forgive my brothers and my sisters? We introspect ourselves, and then we let go. We go to the cross of Jesus. We ask the Holy Spirit to. Allow him to walk in us that we have this heart to forgive others. Okay? Then we look at the spirit of murder. That's our last point. And this is what we are saying. The seventh demon. This is the seventh point. We've been looking at several points. This is the seventh point. The seventh demon, the worst in the principality, in the island of bitterness, is murder. Okay? The murderer is certain. The devil himself. Jesus in John 10, chapter 10 tells us the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. That is the nature of the devil. To steal, to kill, okay, and destroy. Just as Cain killed Abel by bitterness, others killed their children, their spouses, their friends during you know, episodes of rage. Okay, this is what we, we must not be like Cain. Okay, we must not be like Cain who was from the evil one and murdered his brother. We must not be like him because God told him, You are still in control, you are still in charge. Don't allow 
those thoughts to prevail over you and it did and the result was the consequences was he murdered his brother okay because his own deeds were evil and his brothers were righteous that's what the bible tells us abel was righteous his offering righteous offerings his brother wasn't out of bitterness he killed his own brother okay that's the way i said you can kill physically as well as you can kill someone with your words with my words that's why we are saying in matthew 5 21 and 22 the gospel of matthew it says you have heard that it was said to those of ancient times you shall not murder and whoever murders shall be liable to the judgment but i said to you that if you are angry with your brother or sister you will be liable to judgment and if you insult your brother or sister you will be liable to the council and if you say you fool you will be liable to the hell of fire so jesus was commanding us not to hold things in our heart bitterness resentment and forgiveness why because murder begins in the heart murder begins in the heart okay that is what is significant so let us learn to coexist with each other let us learn to love like god has given us the power to love so that we live in harmony we don't just coexist but we live in pure joy and harmony okay murder begins in the heart okay oh who ate a brother or a sister are murderers and you know that murderers do not have eternal life abiding in them that is what is god communicating to us let us love one another let us not put always blame on the other let us look beyond the mistakes of others and look forward to greatness to things greater to come venom venomous and murderous speech fueled by bitterness kill the spirit of the person who screams these invectives okay the words are your words kind are your words no are you patient enough for the other person whoever receives this attack sees spirit shrivel in fear and loses this peace the words that we use let us be a brother's keeper a sister's keeper a people called by god's name okay a people called by god's name people who are humble people who love people who cherish the others i said in the beginning when we support each other and the person we are supporting succeed the glory is for all of us if we leave the other person to struggle alone and he fails we all fail because like jesus in the gospels like in the in the, in the scriptures we did not give guidance and direction to our brother and our sister so we all are failed so for us to move in greater length we must supposed to hold each other's hands and give counsel okay you're not supposed to love at the failure of the other what is your contribution to making sure your brother does not fail this is the gospel this is the encouragement for all of us be in the political be you know many religious in christian in religion in our everyday life don't wait for that person to fall then you start laughing at them help them to stand strong help them to give them direction this way when he succeeds you succeed too so that the blaming game is over we see opportunities to help rather than waiting for someone to fall and laugh at them in short you are laughing at yourself for failing to help them but since you cannot laugh at yourself you find a scapegoat 
to laugh at. So let us change our mindset. Let us help. Whoever is in power, whoever is in authority, let us help so that we succeed together as a nation, as a community, as a district, as a province. We succeed together. Remember, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. John 10 verse 10. I came that they may have life and have it in abundance. Let us claim this abundance of life. You are loved. Shalom and good night. Remember, peace be with us. Amen.